Now at 6 o'clock, a group of Tufts lacrosse players are facing a life-threatening medical condition, the workout that had five of them taken to the hospital. Plus, the violent attack on officers at a prison caught on camera. We will show you those intense moments in Lancaster. And the state's highest court set to review the Karen Reed case. What they will decide as NBC10 Boston Weekend Today starts right now. It is 6 o'clock on this Saturday morning as we take a live look outside. Beautiful city of Boston right mm-hmm. there. You can see still dark this morning, but we do have some rain out there, which is a good thing for those dry lawns. Thanks so much for being with <laughs> us. I'm Jeff Saperstone. I'm Lauren Melendez. Yeah, nowadays those morning views are going to be dark, but yeah. look, you can take in the peacefulness of it and think about what's to come. And as Jeff mentioned, a bit rainy from yesterday, but will that rain continue? Let's check in now with David Bagley for the answer. Thanks, Lauren. Yeah, those lawns are definitely dry out there. I know mine. I'm a big lawn connoisseur. And you know what? My front lawn, yeah, it looks great. My back lawn, forget about it. It's done. And I wanted to plant some grass seed. And really tough to do that right now, especially it's been so dry, especially in the Boston area. Down towards the... Right now, the Tufts University lacrosse team is out of commission. This was after several of their uh, athletes were hospitalized for a severe medical condition. What we know about the Navy SEAL training them that bench them. And plus, a massive fire in situate made even harder to control thanks to gusty winds. We'll have details on this dramatic scene. And drivers, beware. Some major closures in and around Boston could have you sitting in some big traffic this weekend. NBC 10 Boston Weekend Today continues right now. All right, 631 here on your Saturday as you wake up with us. Hopefully you're grabbing your coffee or your tea, whatever gets you started. I'm Lauren Melendez. I'm Jeff Saperstone. Yeah, it is Saturday. Mm-hmm. We're in the weekend here. It's going to be a dreary weekend, though, at least the first half here. Exactly. It kind of comes with the changing of the seasons. It's all part of the game. So, David Bagley, what do you have in store in terms of the weather? Well, we do have some rain in the forecast. We have some minor flooding along the Mm. coastline. And, you know, all these weekends we've been talking about just great weather, right? Yeah, we knew we were going to have to pay the piper sooner or later, and I think that's (laughs) what we're doing this weekend. Today is the last day of summer as we take it in Plymouth County, Route 3 corridor, seeing some rain, Boston area, some showers around, some heavier showers once you get into northern portions. Uh, or northwestern portions of Middlesex County as we speak. Through the afternoon, we'll see showers moving through. Some of those could be moderate to heavy, especially down towards the Cape and the islands. Overnight tonight, we'll start to see those showers moving offshore. Continuing to see some showers tomorrow morning. It stays on the cooler side. Temperatures in the lower 60s, and we will have that threat for showers tomorrow afternoon as well. But we will see improving conditions as we start the first day of fall, and then Monday, Tuesday, we dry things up. Out. There we go. Good yep. news, yeah, because yes. the, the looks outside, the yeah. live views we've been giving you aren't the best, but like you said, David, it, it, yeah. it sort of improves as we get, get further. We, we have need, to accept it, David. We, and we need the rain. Yeah, Jeff, <laughs> we summer, do. we'll have to wait till next we year. Do. Like, when we David do. closes his pool, you know <laughs> that he's officially Over. thrown in the towel, folks, and there it is, Boston Harbor. Yeah, not the best day to be on the water, but it is calm, peaceful, pretty to look at. Again, we'll see you back here at 834 for Hour of News.